episode 12 of Book the US. My name is Cameron Phillips and I've been traveling around all summer documenting these incredible travels, these unique properties. Spoiler alert, this one was my favorite. <laughs> my name is Cameron Phillips and this summer Booking.com sent me on a quest to find the most unique properties around the United States. This is the adventure of a lifetime with properties so amazing that you'll never want to stay in a regular hotel again. With this series, I'm offering everyone $30 of free travel credit on Booking.com to jumpstart your adventure. Make sure to use the link in my bio to get your free $30. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an episode and follow me on Instagram to see more of these iconic properties. There's still quite a few episodes after this, so make sure to stick around, but I need to tell you about Colorado. This property was weird because it was after the film crew had left me, Daniel was gone, I was gonna be alone, and I was about to go to Toronto for Labor Day weekend and then start the East Coast like, so I was kinda like, ugh, why am I doing this? It seemed kinda like a random property. It, I was just gonna be alone. I didn't really like, get it. I didn't really know a whole lot about what was going on, but I am so glad I went to this property and I'm so glad. I mean, I wish Daniel was with me. I really do wish Daniel was with me, but I'm really glad the film crew left and there was no like Mike.com, no film crew, just me, I, ideally me and Daniel. <laughs> but just me. So I'm on my way to Dunton Hot Springs this morning. I'm super excited. We're gonna do a little stop off in Telluride, um, get some coffee and a little bit of lunch. I love Telluride, I love Colorado. We drove through yesterday on our way up from Durango, finishing our New Mexico work. The state is so stunning and I'm so excited to show you guys this place. I have no idea what's in store. First time back on my own after the 10 days of craziness with Crane. If you guys saw the last episode, you know what I'm talking about with the whole film crew. We had to do a lot of crazy stuff. It was wild. But that being said, I'm excited to head back into the mountains and do my last West Coast property of the Booking.com trip. This place was called Dunton Hot Springs and I really did not vlog a lot for a few different reasons, but I'm gonna tell you all about it now and overlay the visuals on top of it. This place was a collection of cabins located at 8,800 feet up in a mountain valley, very high elevation. It was about $1,000 a night, super high class, but what made this property so beautiful and so amazing was it was high class, first class service mixed with like rustic mountain culture and just like this relaxed feel. And it was the perfect harmony of like elegance meets casual rustic. And it mashed together to create this experience that you bonded with all these people and it felt like family. Oh my God, let me tell you about this. I'm driving in from Telluride. Okay, so I've just gotten off the main highway. I'm on my way to Dunton. I think the road is turning dirt now. We're gonna head up over the mountain. And the GPS takes me up on this road. And next thing you know, it's like this one lane dirt road snaking through the mountains. I'm like, where am I? Like, I'm gonna pop a tire. This is crazy. So I'm working my way up this like 10 mile dirt road to make my way to Dunton. Um, I had no idea it'd be like this, which is kind of crazy, it feels super remote, but I came across this field full of thousands of sheep. It's crazy. This is so cool. I'm really excited to see what's actually up this road now. Um, Who would have thought it would have been this like really rugged dirt road. I come down over the hill, get down to the camp, and I arrive at Dunton. That's when the magic started. So I check in, they like take my bags. I didn't realize this was very like five star service, right? So they take my bags, take the car, just like they just deal with it, which is kind of like, I love that. They just took care of it. I didn't have to worry about it. And they brought my stuff to my cabin. And most of the cabins were authentic 1800s mining cabins that they've restored and placed up here in this little like community. And the max occupancy for the resort is only 44 people, so it's not a super big place at all. And then the woman who checked me in told me that cocktail hours at 6.30 and dinner served at 7.30. And I was like, served, like what? I mean, it was very far from like other civilization, like probably an hour and a half from another town. So I wasn't planning on leaving, but dinner was family style essentially, where we all sat on a communal table and ate dinner at a time. I was shook and on top of that, Food and drinks were included in the price, so suddenly $1,000 a night has really like seemed like not a big expenditure for this. You know, I cleaned up, went to dinner, I was kind of like not in the mood, I wasn't really feeling like interacting with people. This time I was just having, I was very like drained. But I go and I sit down on this giant table, there's 20 of us sitting at this big communal table, and of course I'm alone, don't know anybody, and in the course of the next three hours, 
I make so many friends and hear these people's life stories and like hear the people who are, who are like so wealthy it doesn't matter for them to spend a thousand dollars a night to be there for their whole family. And then there's the people who've been saving up for this and then the people who are like they're on their honeymoon and then there's the people who's another travel writer from Germany and all these like crazy crazy characters and then the food service starts and it's this like five star dining experience with a sommelier pairing the wines like I was blown away and you guys know I'm a huge foodie love wine culture and I was totally shook it was beautiful it was simply exquisite at this stunning dining table in this mountain cabin I was just like so shook I left feeling that kind of like people high where you have some you know that when you have a really good experience and then all of a sudden you're like Wow, you feel like your whole soul's kind of been like lifted. That's how I felt. Oh my god, it was beautiful. And what, but what made this place amazing? It's called Dunton Hot Springs, right? Because it is at the source of natural mineral hot springs coming out of the mountainside. And there's a source. It's about 105, 106 degrees that you climb down this ladder in this little hole. But then it flows down into this whole kind of bathhouse spa house that's open 24 7 and it was phenomenal it was so beautiful i that first night after i had wine and food and like said good night to everybody i went back to my room changed put on my robe went to the hot springs room and um there's the indoor pool and there's an outdoor pool and i sat out there alone looking up at the stars and it was a phenomenal experience i think i in the two days out the 48 hours i was there i think i went to those that spa room probably like five or six times. I did whenever I could, it was amazing. So the next morning rolls around and the night before I had actually met one of the bartenders and she was, su she was super nice, she was 23 like myself and we got talking and she invited me on a hike the next morning. So me and her and the chef and this other kid that I met and we all went up for this beautiful hike through this mountain pass and it was a stunning day, totally gorgeous, like classic summer Colorado, like I was living, it was phenomenal. And then the afternoon I booked a fly fishing excursion and I did this for several reasons because I wanted to do something something like outdoorsy. I've never been fly fishing. I've heard a lot about it and I've seen it done a lot. I'm like, if there's ever a time for me to do this, it is here in Dunton Hot Springs. So I went out with my guide, this eccentric man from Indiana who is amazing, amazing. And he taught me how to fly fish. It was great. You know, I kind of learned how to cast and kind of tried to understand the art of it. This man was so funny. Whenever there was a big fish, he would call it a pig. If there was a huge fish, he'd call it a hog. I got a hog on my line. Like this is like little street, right? And there's a 24 inch, a two foot long trout. I'm shook. I didn't realize a fish that big could be in this little stream. And I got it on my line and it was crazy. We we're trying to reel it in. Yeah, to, to leave them on the reel now. Dude, that's a nice fish. This thing's massive. Yeah, that's, that's a big fish. This is the cat. <laughs> yeah, dude. We got to wear him out, you know? The whole key here is not to horse him. But you're doing great. But then in the last second, it broke because it turned and ran and I didn't release the line fast enough and it just snapped the line. But it was an amazing experience and I'm so glad that I was able to like experience that and learn. We caught a whole bunch of other fish too, nothing as big as the hog, but <laughs> some other really good ones as well. And then that night, once again, was the dinner service, which was just great, like sitting around this table, like hearing about all these different people's lives and talking. And then I ended up closing down the bar, sitting outside at like two o'clock in the morning with this couple who are so nice and we were chatting and had an amazing time. So there's not a whole lot of vlog vlog from this. I got some footage though, and of course there's the article on phenomenaltravel.com with more photos and like me reflecting and writing about it. So definitely check that one out. But this was a, an amazing place that even though high sticker price tag, I would 100% recommend it. And especially over the like Versace mansion or some dumb shit like that. Like spend your money in a place like this. Like, oh my God, so good. Because I've never been anywhere alone and have left getting to know so many people and having so many like deep connections with someone. It was like, it was incredible. It was amazing being able to travel alone and have these experiences. So, Dunstan Hot Springs, amazing. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm so excited for the next episode to take you to the East Coast for my tour with Brandon and then a few other properties. It's gonna be crazy. Um, so I'll see you guys then. Thanks for sticking around. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you would stay here and make sure to subscribe for more videos. Thanks guys, see you soon. Bye.